Process is something essential to running a project well. It allows to you, your client and your team to guide them and never get lost, which is super important because clients need to feel safe that you're gonna bring them from a point A to a point B. So here's my process for every project. Strategy, architecture and wireframing, UI phase, Webflow development, feedback and testing, publishing, and promotion. For this first step, I generally do a one hour call with the clients, no more, because it pushes you to be more efficient. For me, it needs to be natural, it's just a conversation between people. The goal is to talk about everything. Which problem the client is solving? How is solving this problem? What's the company's short-term and long-term goal? What's make his offer unique? We also talk about the client's audience to understand who they are. And also, it's the moment to understand what they have in their mind and to talk about the brands, which kind of website they like. Of course, not for copy, but just to understand and try to enter in their mind and it will guide you to go in the right direction. And also sometimes to bring them in the good direction because sometimes clients can think that they're in the right artistic direction is this way, but finally maybe it's the total opposite way that they need to take for really bring to the brand something unique. We also talk about the resource, what they have, what we need to do, uh, we talk about copywriting, about uh, we need illustration, 3D, talk about the branding and all this will determine the next steps, what we need. The second phase is architecture and content. This phase is the synthesis of the first strategy goal. Thanks to this you can start to draw a website architecture and determine the number of pages. You need to create an architecture, but nothing fancy. It should be a manageable step. I just place page and section to understand where the contents will be dispatched. Because this is a crucial phase because it's where you're gonna determine the user flow. And this is the most important because the role of a website is to bring clients, users, people to where they need to go and give them the information they need. And it's in this architecture phase that you determine all this. And yeah, nothing fancy because it's after the UI phase we will make the job and create something really nice. And this brings us to the third step, which is design. Of course, when the client approves your wireframe. For me, it's the most funny part because you're gonna bring life to your sad wireframe. Thanks to all the data of the strategy call, you will bring the brand identity into your design and create a really great experience for the user. This is where you're gonna explore typography, color, layout, imagery, 3D, illustration, and the goal here is to create something memorable, something that the user remember and they feel connected to the brand. Because we always talk about conversion in terms of metrics, but not a lot of people talk about emotional conversion. And this is super important because people talk about a website because they remember, because there something unique happened there. And because also they get the right information. So the goal is to mix these two feelings, create something unique, but at the same time, give the information that the user need but give him in a nice way. If you success to do that, it's a victory. I provide a desktop, tablet and mobile version of the prototype. I give also intention of animation, that it's with After Effects or just giving some example. And after a few feedback, when the client is happy at 100%, it's time to go to the development phase. This brings us to the next step, which is Webflow development, which is also one of my favorite steps because the goal is just to create a pixel perfect website and stick to the prototype you create. And the cool thing of this step is to bring to life your prototype and create animation in Webflow. It's also a phase where you don't have a lot of contact with the client because in my case, I share a to-do list on Notion of all the steps. And like that, they can follow in real time all the steps and what is done and what needs to be done. Like that, they always can keep in track all the process without the need to do a client call all the time. I always first build the whole website and in the second phase, I animate it. Because finally, it's what it takes more time and I like to focus and to spend time on animation to really create something different, nice and smooth. And also sometimes to get lost and get stuck during hours in one effect that you want to do and you don't know what to do, so you try, or you search something online, or you talk to people, and it's cool because it's also like that that you learn. So I really like this phase. Once you finish to build a website, you give the link to the clients, and it brings us to the next step. Feedback time. In this phase, you will check you and the clients, everything on the website. The goal is to forget nothing and that the website is perfect. I also create a document on Notion to track all this feedback. 
for don't be a messy ping pong between you and the client this is super important because Funny, you can be on time building the website, but you can lost time in this feedback phase. So this is super important to also track this on Notion, like that the client write the feedback, you treat it, and you do this till the website is perfect 100%. Give you also a deadline to, of course, don't do this forever. And once you treat everything, the website is ready. Which brings us to the next step, publishing. Plan a moment where you and the client are available to publish the project and to celebrate it also, because it's not to just push the project online, it's also to celebrate this long journey, you know? Because all the previous steps can be done asynchronously. You can have some clients call or keeping track everything in Notion, like that the client always see what's going on. But on this step, you need to be available for the clients because this is a crucial moment for him. The website is going live and you need to feel secure that everything is gonna be okay and that if something happens, you will be here in the next minutes and next hour to cover him. Remember that most of the clients come from WordPress, so they have the habit of get problems. Once the project is done, don't disappear like a ghost. The goal is to create a long-term relationship with the client because your client is the best commercial to bring you more work. They're gonna talk about you if you do the great job and people are gonna see the work you've done for them. So um, it brings you a lot of visibility. So don't disappear like a ghost and keep in touch with your client, track the progress of the website, the number of new customers they get, be involved in the growth of your client. This is super important. And the last and super important step is promotion because it's been an incredible journey. You spend one month, two months, three months, I don't know, many months to create this project from a point A to a point B. And you need to celebrate it and share your project to the world. People need to know what you did, how you did. And this is important because it will bring you also more clients. And this is super important to share stuff on social network because for you or the clients, it's benefit. For the client, it's good because you're gonna feel that you are proud of this project, that you put all your heart and that, yeah, you're really proud of the project and you want to tell to everybody. So this is super important. And like that, also the client will think about you. And of course, it's beneficial for you because showing your work will attract clients, maybe the rivals of your clients who saw the work and want to also redesign and bring something unique to their brand. And yeah, you need to share the process, the tools that you use, what you did, what was your thought. Sharing your work is the best way to attract clients. And it's better to attract clients that you need to go to search clients. When you attract clients, clients are already convinced that you are good and that you are the one they need to create something new. So yeah, post everywhere on social networks. I mean, choose choose where you post, that is social networks, BNs, awards, depend on your project. But yeah, share it to the world. This is super important. And that's it, you're ready to start a new project. So I hope you liked the video. Share with us in the comments what's your process and exchange about that. We also created a Discord where you can share your journey with us and other designers and Webflow developers. And so if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Talk about this video to everybody. We see us in the next video.